would next like to turn the time over to our Secretary of State, uh, Michelle Reagan. Michelle, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Do I stand here or here? Either or. Wherever you wish. This is my first time before your commission, so um, I am act and I'm actually thrilled to be here on behalf of this amazing opportunity. Uh, most people do not know that the Secretary of State's office oversees 222 public libraries and 20 um, tribal library locations, obviously, all over the state. A um, quick little story about a library I was visiting in Tuba City. Um, appropriately enough up there to pass out a grant that we got from E-Rate. Um, there was about, let's say, maybe 10 people in the library. And as we walked out of the library, there were 30 cars parked around the library. And so I commented, there's all these cars. Are they somewhere else besides in the library? And she said, no, when we plan, when we build libraries in rural Arizona, um, we have to plan extra parking spaces for the people who will pull up and use the internet uh -huh. and use Wi-Fi. So as I looked, she was indeed correct. There were a lot of people sitting in their cars um, on their laptops and mobile phones. And um, we have seen that all over the state, libraries are now so much more than just a place somebody goes to check out a book. They are places where communities come together. And this is just kind of an example of what some of the grants we've passed out using um, some of these E-rate monies. We know that these libraries serve as a resource for homework help, study, research, things that um, schools don't have or can't afford. Sometimes they put them in the libraries. Uh, amazing new technologies, amazing programs to educate seniors. Uh, they have online job search portals in, in uh, some of these libraries for people who are looking for work. They have entrepreneurship programs for people who are looking how to build a business or build their own website. Um, we know that some of our libraries are using people to link um, their themselves with legal and health care aid that they may not be able to get in their areas. Um, and then also to correspond with the uh, loved ones around the world who are serving in the military overseas. So all, we, all of these programs require sufficient bandwidth, and your rulemaking today um, will support the efforts to connect all of these Arizonans to people all over the world. Um, we are obviously asking that you adopt these proposed rules, but more importantly, I wanted to thank you for considering this, because as uh, Commissioner Tobin mentioned, this is something that a lot of different agencies have been working together on. And so uh, there's a number of us that are very excited. And um, this investment is expected to draw down nearly $100 million from the um, federal government E-rate broadband special con uh, construction project. So it's a really thrilling reason to be here today, and thank you for your time. Michelle, thank you for being with us today.